let's see how do I not pay interest I just need to explain to my uncle because he doesn't get it and I'm trying to break it down to him on how you push the date back all right so to handle that again if I take money from this line of credit to pay this debt that I'm paying an interest on that's most likely going to be amortized okay even if it's simple interest like this situation right here ready I'm paying 7.75 percent on eighteen thousand seven hundred twenty four dollars a month which produces this monthly payment right here that 326 a lot of people overlook their monthly payments on their debts like you got to understand that that money that is coming out of your income is dying very slowly each and every month it just dies you can't use that money again so when I have this tool right here which allows me to take money out put money back in take money out put money back in in that process alone is the savings all right so in this situation right here we have this interest rate the 6.8 so automatically automatically if all I did was shift the debt I would save money would you agree with me comment if all I did was shift this 18,000 to this HELOC first of all my monthly payment would be less and my interest cost would be less so period I save money now to improve that number a lot better okay make sure you tell this to your uncle is just look at the interest rates that can that can help you alone all right especially if we would use a HELOC to pay off an amortized interest rate okay if if I have a, let's let's take the same amount let's say I've got this $30,000 HELOC at 6.8 percent and I have a, a truck that's 15,000 owed at 6.8 percent who would pay more okay the truck would be costing you more money if all you did was shift the debt to a simple interest debt you would save money it's kind of like consolidation loans okay except those don't really work okay this is how you actually would consolidate debt but we don't want to really just do that we want to wipe out the debt we don't want to keep it lingering that's why when we're doing velocity banking not only am I paying a debt that we're tackling I'm also paying the same debt that I took from at the same exact time right so if I borrow 18,000 would you agree I just created a new debt for 18,000 yet I just paid off an $18,000 debt so if I paid off $18,000 there and now I'm going to do velocity banking to pay off that 18,000 that's where the velocity banking comes into place that's where the interest savings occurs when we do what dump income take expenses out keep cash flow in dump income take expenses out keep cash flow in just do that 